Welcome to Richard Maybe Presents. Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. It is Saturday, February 24th, 2024. I did not tape yesterday. Um, what kind of busy day? And I was going to tape later on, late afternoon, early evening, and I was just totally exhausted. Just did a lot of errands, went to the chiropractor, got adjusted. Uh, went to uh, the um, the ch uh, uh, monthly church luncheon for the seniors. It was just a busy day, and I I was just exhausted. So um, it is now five fifteen, late afternoon, uh, um, late afternoon, early evening, um, and I and it's just been really bothering me a lot that I didn't do YouTube yesterday. Um, I want to talk about the aortic arch. And the reason I want to talk about the components of the human heart and its, um, you know, neighboring vessels and that sort of thing is because this way when you go to the doctor, um, if, you, if you had not taken any anatomy courses, you can be more familiar with the components of the human heart. The aortic arch essentially is the rainbow of life, the rainbow of oxygenated blood, the, the place where uh the the blood leaves the human heart from the um from the right atrium through the uh, aortic valve and then ascends through the ascending aorta then the aortic arch and then the descending aorta so I'll take a shot of picture get a view of that now the right and left now remember when you're looking at the uh, a picture of the human heart, it's, it's like you're looking at uh, the person's face, and you and you're Superman with X-ray vision, and you can see their heart with X-ray vision. So um, the your left hand side becomes is actually the right side of the heart, and your right hand side is actually the left side of the heart as you're looking at it. So you got the um, from as the uh, it comes around, as the aorta, uh, you have the ascending aorta and then the aortic arch, and coming from the 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 patient's right, your left hand side, there's the brachiocephalic. Now, how are you going to remember that the brachiocephalic is on the right side? The second letter in the word brachiocephalic is an R. So you got the brachiocephalic. Now that divides up, uh, uh, comes to a fork, a fork in the road. <laughs> Remember what Yogi Berra said, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. Um, comes to a fork and uh, that becomes the subclavian artery, which leads to the axillary artery, which leads to the brachial artery. And that supplies the blood supply to your to to the person's right arm and forearm and eventually down to the hand and fingers but di different forks um different splits now uh on the uh, left hand side no on the left side your right hand side the left side of the patient um first comes the common carotid artery which goes up through the neck and then divides into the internal carotid and the external carotid. And they and that's your that's your blood supply uh, on the uh, left side to the brain, to the muscles in the face, to all of the, your your eyes and ears and nose, uh, to your mouth. Everything comes off of the. Um, off of the common carotid, which divides into the internal carotid and the external carotid. Okay, here is, without further ado, hopefully this will work. I put the code in. Um, hopefully this will work. Where is my trusty pen? Dum -da -dum. Okay, so here is the first things first. Here is the, that works pretty good actually. Here's the ascending aorta. Now, um, then here you have the brachiocephalic. Now, oh, I see. It, 
okay, if you, I'm, I'm learning. If you bring it back a little bit, you don't get the glare. Bingo. I got, now I got to put the, oh, there it is. There, okay, this is the brachiocephalic. That's not bad. Coming in, that's not coming in bad at all. And then it divides into the right sub, right subclavian, right subclavian, and the right common carotid. Okay, now we're we're going a little going down the road, and we're going down the road on the aortic arch. Okay, now first things the first thing on uh, your right hand side, the patient's left side, is the left common, the left common carotid artery, and again that supplies everything that'll divide into the external carotid and internal carotid. Everything, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your brain, everything. From the, uh, the um, external carotid. Now we have the, <laughs> this thing drives me crazy. It's like, like I got 10 seconds. <laughs> and here then, then we have the left, the left subclavian, the left subclavian, which becomes the axillary which is like the armpit and then it becomes the brachial and then it divides into the radial and ulnar arteries and so radial and ulnar supplying the uh, forearm and then uh, breaks down into smaller arteries for the for the hand and fingers but I, right now I want to focus on the aortic arch so it's the uh, the rainbow of oxygenated blood coming from the heart, going out into the world of your body. <laughs> it's like Fantastic Voyage, that, that movie. Uh, I think I read the book my senior year of high school. And don't quote me, I'm working I'm working off, I'm in the moment here. I think Raquel, Raquel Welch was in it. I think, I don't know, Fantastic Voyage, where they, they shrunk the people down and sent them into the body. Mm -hmm. So there's your aortic arch. And one more time, uh, uh, you're, you're looking, you'll be looking at it. When you look at the picture, it'll be on your left-hand side, but it's the patient's right side. And that's the brachiocephalic. And you say to yourself, how am I going to remember if it's right or left? The second letter in the word brachiocephalic is an R, and you'll never forget it. R for right. And then, hmm, good. There it goes. No, 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 I don't. Okay. Now this, then the right subclavian, which becomes the axillary, which becomes the brachial artery. And then you've got the, the right common carotid artery here, which divides into the internal carotid and the external carotid. Now on the left side, there is no, oh, this is driving, oh no, I don't want, okay, there is no brachiocephalic on the left. Because there is no R in left. Okay, so that's that. Uh, I have, all, as many of you know, I have um, severe hydrotroph hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, obstructive HCM, and there's nothing they can do about it. The walls and my the ventricles are becoming thicker. It's like a Batman trap. So normally, you know, you have maybe this much. Um, this is diagram diagrammatic, not accurate. But you know, say that you have this much space in your ventricle for the blood to come down from the aorta. But as the walls thicken, that sac for the blood becomes less and less, and then eventually it gets so small. The person has a stroke, and after they have the stroke, they soon thereafter pass away. So I went to two cardiologists. I'm going to the third cardiologist uh, to get a third opinion. <laughs> uh, I have to go m Monday morning, get all the records, and then go to the third cardiologist. And they're going to see, they're talking about seeing me in May. But if my case is so severe, they'll try to get me in before May. It's just a lot of people here in Central Florida, middle Central Florida. 
Uh, one of my loose ends. This is the home of Peter Maybe. And uh, I worked with the, um, the Maybe Society over in England. And a few years ago, I was in correspondence with one of the chaps that's a big wheel for the Maybe Society. He was very helpful, immensely helpful. So Peter Maybe is um, one of my direct descendants. And this was the Peter Maybe house. Now, the problem, it's on, it was on Hamburg Turnpike in Pumpton, Pumpton Lakes. So I need to, I don't know if this house is still standing. And I've got to, uh, you know, find this house. You know, what do they call that? Um, street, uh, view my street or something like that. But I'm going to go down, on, check out Hamburg Turnpike, see if I find this house. One of my, you know, great, 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 great grandfather homes, one of the, one of the maybe homesteads in Northeast New Jersey. So that's on my to-do list before I go home to be with the Lord. Um, there was, today was fair, I was going to cover this tomorrow that people could attend it. Fair, uh, this is Sumter Express. I love this paper. Fair Queens will be crowned February, February 24th at the Sumter Fair uh, uh, Fairgrounds. Sumter County Fairgrounds was today. The, the, they're going to decide who will be Fair Queen. There it is. So that's the top headline story for the Sumter Express. So it'll be interesting. In the next issue, they'll probably show you who who won that uh, beauty contest. I've got a lot. Of, people say, how do you keep a happy attitude? How do you keep, you know, a happy-go-lucky attitude? This is it. Topper book. I read Topper book. Uh, I must have read, I've read this book about 20 times. But I love this book. It's 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 it's, it's It was published in England. It's very British. And uh, it's, uh, it's just what... Here. Uh... Pushed off until I've finished me plate or dog nosh or I'll bite your leg. But push off. Oh, he's telling people, push off until I finish me plate or dog nosh or I'll bite your leg. <laughs> this is the kind of humor in, in this thing, in this book. That's just one example. <laughs> it's a dog. He's saying, you know, dumb, uh, I'm eating my bone. Get lost. You know, so it's, it cracks me up. Uh... Here's a Welsh tennis star who works down a coal mine. The only time he can practice is at the cool face, the coal face. <laughs> He's playing tennis in the coal mines. It's just knucklehead. It's almost like a mad magazine, you know, like a British mad magazine. I always get a kick. I get a kick out of it. Uh, Maddie Harry, famous unknown spy. He's unknown because he's far too busy selling rugs all the time. Well, it's just, you know. It's, uh, what I call it, was it, you're reverent. <laughs> the, the, the topper book. It just keeps, it cracks me up. It's, it's funny stuff. Man, it's, uh, you know, kind of like the British answer to, ooh, I kept this wrapper here. Fritos. Um, when I, my buddy, my old buddy from first grade, Stu, Stuart, and I, well, we would sleep over each other's house, like, you know, third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, that kind of stuff. And uh, so Saturday lunchtime, bro, I got a phone call. Uh, be right back. Be right back. So um, it was it's supper time. <laughs> so I got to head inside. And I just wanted to get a quick, quick YouTube episode in. It was really bothering me that I hadn't done YouTube Friday. But anyway, back to Fritos. So, uh... Maybe 70% of the time on lunchtime, we'd have um, hamburgers. And Mrs. S would also have Fritos with the hamburgers. I always, I always, that was always a cool thing. Uh, the Fritos with the hamburgers. You know, Stu and I would get up, I don't know, we get up like at six in the morning. And then we go out and Stu owned, and we're, is, is folks owned, um, they had a, a, a Christmas tree farm, among other, a Christmas tree farm. But they owned about like 26 acres 
on top of this mountain. And we'd go out and we'd, we, we had stoop built tree, tree forts and we climbed the tree forts and have a good old time. And um, there was a, a, a ledge, like a cliff thing. We climbed the top and it was, I think it was the highest point in Lincoln Park, Steinhauser Mountain. And, uh, and then, you know, then, and then we come in for lunch and we have the hamburgers and the Fritos. So I'm, I'm it's a real sentimental thing, Fritos. So, so I say, you know, if I, if I get, if I buy Fritos, I know, I know they're not good for you. I understand that, you know, but once in a blue moon, I have some Fritos go to the, you know, I'm in the convenience store, you know, like I'm going to 7-Eleven. I just got gas. I'm paying for the gasoline or whatever. You know, I got grab a, I grab a, a, a bag of Fritos for old time's sake. So that's that. So anyway, um, I've got to find the Peter maybe house in Pumpton Lakes. My great, 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 great grandfather, something like that. That's where, that's where one of the, one of the maybe homesteads in, in New Jersey right there. I've got to find that. Uh, I got, I got so much to do. And they tell me I got about, they tell me I got about two years to live. So I'm going to do, I'm going to jam pack everything in two years. Just jam pack. Keep the YouTube going. Keep my writings going, and just you know, focus and get things accomplished, and and just you know, send energy out into the universe. That's that's my plan. I'm not gonna sit around and feel sorry for myself. What am I gonna do? Got the topper book to cheer me up. Life couldn't be better. All right, I'm gonna sign off. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you oh, leave some comments, and if you uh haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell that you know when I put up new videos. So I'm going to sign off. So stay happy, stay positive, stay healthy. This is Richard Maybe. Signing off.